I, that could easily be a video talking about Haitians running around with uh, machetes, you know? Yeah. Uh, what I'm, uh, I'm 100% maybe Haitians running around with machetes. That could have been a video, you know? And then I, I know, but, but what I'm trying to say... That one out because that don't really, you can't really say that. Here in America, you put it like this. You know how young people are? Now, uh, this is the easiest way to put it. You're 21 years old. You don't give a damn about nothing. You don't raise yourself. And all of a sudden, you're in a new land. You don't know the rules of nothing. You don't care. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Is the ones that don't care are the first ones that will get here. The ones that need to be here are the ones that are going to get the shitty treatment in the end. In order to polarize the people on two fronts, you take all the worst up out of there. Because they're going to make that place fucked up if you let them run astray. But you don't bring them here unchecked. But this is how it'll go down. They're going to bring them here unchecked. And once the shit starts hitting the fan, they already look at us all as the same. Without differential. We will be treated exactly like those who come here just merely to survive and not understand that you can't do certain things. And they're going to look at all of us that are here already and use that excuse to take will out upon us. That is an excuse in the making. In other words, I'm going to go to Africa. I don't really start an earthquake in Africa. And when, once I start this earthquake in Africa and all the prisons are all fucked up, I'm going to tell all these African people, you know what? I'm going to bring you straight here to America. Now, a good Africans going to be like, man, this now, now is a chance for me to build, build my country. But some of these people who did not have an opportunity, who was fucked up and, and treat, mistreated and, and shitted on, whose life was every day live or die, they're going to come here with the same live or die mentality and it's not like that. And once it you is, do something It is by so many friends, it is. It is like like you said it is. But we don't have to kill a motherfucker in the street. These people are willing to die. We're not willing to die. Take my car. They want to cut your arm off. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we're not ready for tribal mentality. We're not ready for a group of people, a million people willing to die for their beliefs. They they do they sacrifice chickens and goats and shit. You think they're gonna allow that shit in certain places? You know Hey, this is part of people's religion. What if their religion calls for them to kill a uh a uh, goat and, and some person see him killing a goat in the backyard and call him. Never had goat, you never had goat before, man? Oh, goat is good. But I, I had a ritual. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else had to kill that man. But I understand. I understand somebody else. This is somebody but, breaking down a little bit. I'm uh, trying to say the different. differences in their culture and our culture is they don't care. These people are used to people walking down the street with guns showing. They're used to somebody could take their life at any second. They're willing to... I, yeah. We, as a whole, ain't ready for some of the shit that they finna bring. And what I'm trying to say is a black person, some of these people in control get shit misconstrued. He looked black, he looked black. They all guilty. And I don't want that to perpetuate because of a you people no who rule. don't understand Already. the rules here in this country. It's happening for 500 years, though. It ain't going to stop. It ain't going to stop today. You know, it's been happening for 500 years. Uh, you know, that's just the evils of this world. You know, it comes with the, the whole packaging wrapped up for you right underneath the tree. You know, that's how it is here. You know, and it will never, no matter how look, how we try, that's always embedded in our DNA. And it's it is always, embedded in our DNA. Uh, but we don't live like I don't live like that. I don't like to worry about. I don't care about it. The only thing I worry about when I walk down the street is the police. 
That's it. I don't care about them either. And when I go through, um, I when I go through certain fine. neighborhoods uh, around certain people, I watch what I'm around. I watch what I'm about. What I'm trying to say is that you can't bring a million people who live a certain way to a country without some shit going down that's not going to be right. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to happen. It makes sense. It's, it's bound to happen. Something stupid about to go off. These people are going to want their rights. They're going to want their rights right now. They're going to want what they want because they're going to want what they're promised. This is America. We get promises that take 10, 15 years to happen. You bring a bunch of people here with a bunch of promises, and when the shit don't happen, woo! It's like wrestling. You got Ric Flair turning red and beating people up after he's been getting his ass whooped for 45 minutes. That's what I'm saying. Ric Flair is not going to stay down. He's going to flare up. And when these Haitians... Don't get what they promised. Some shit gonna go down, and people ain't gonna be ready for it. Black people, be America, because we are gonna be Haitian in a minute. That's what I'm saying. Because they gonna, hey, you know what? It ain't gonna be. Listen, with somebody with told me. You, some, you, know, people you know what? In the, the town hall meeting. Somebody told me, and this is what this guy told me. He says they went over there to take Haiti to send us back. Somebody said that. I actually literally heard uh, somebody say that, and then go Governor Schwarzenegger talking about building prisons and that's in Mexico. And so when, they're already talking about moving Guantanamo Bay to Haiti. You hear about that? They can only do. They can only send people who are willing to go. You know, they don't have the power to move people nowhere. You know what? I ain't that theory. I heard. There was, they got it on the news somewhere, the guy said, they was uh, boarding up planes to send people to America, right? And one dude was so mad because the tents was emptying up, so they had new tents opened up. People was killing people to get a better tent. Now, this could be all propaganda. It is. All of it could be propaganda. My, my whole conversation right here, right now, could be used as propaganda. But, personally, if I came to a country and I didn't know the rules and shit was live or die, I would not take no for an answer. Come to America, motherfuckers walking down the street like victims, I would fucking go crazy. Nuts! I would be bananas up in this motherfucker. Hey, uh, see, each of them, man, everybody 